We don't know exactly how life began. We don't know what life started out as either, but we do have an idea of when it started. Scientists believe life to have begun around 3.8 billion years ago, but only as simple single-celled organisms. 575 million years ago, this state ended abruptly with the mysterious Avalon explosion, the dawn of multicellular life. Creatures that could loosely be termed fish arose 60 million years later, but they only began to resemble what we see today in another 100 million years during the Devonian period. Given time, fish began to develop primitive legs, and eventually they used these legs to take the first steps of any vertebrate onto land, becoming the original tetrapods. Evolution, however, has been marching relentlessly since the first animal crawled from the ocean, driven on by a desire to survive and reproduce. 200,000 years ago, life's progress led to a new type of organism. Humans. Our intelligence has given us a penchant for technology unrivaled by any other life form on this planet. We have industrialized and spread all across the world, bending the environment when it did not suit our purpose. We have taken so much that there is little left to take. In the modern day, fishing industries are heavily subsidized in order to remain profitable. These subsidies totaled $27 billion worldwide during 2010. 60% of these subsidized industries were still using the unsupportable fishing practices that put them in the situation, causing even further damage to the seas. Animals have only a few basic drives, to survive and to perpetuate the species. Humans are masters at these, but merely surviving isn't enough anymore. Today a new challenge presents itself to life, how to endure the human impact. Biological evolution is not a fast process. It took billions of years to produce the animals we see today, and evolution cannot keep up with the damage we are causing to our oceans. We are the only thing capable of changing fast enough to make a difference here and now. If we alter the ways we interact with our world, we can fix it. Let's take the intellect that took four billion years to evolve and put it to the test. We've changed the oceans to help ourselves. Now it's our turn to change and help the oceans.